This video is going to be a review of the Mayu Wi-Fi touch dimmer light switch. The switch can be controlled by Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. You can dim the lights to 0%, 100%. You can control, control it with, again, Alexa or Google Assistant, or you can control it with the app. All the things that you need to know, you need to use the face plate that comes with the switch. You cannot use this with a three-way switching circuit, only with a one-way, and this will only fit into an outlet box where one unit is installed. So you uh, can't have two switches. You cannot have a duplex outlet box. So I'm going to show you how to install this. It's extremely easy to install this. It comes with the switch and some wire nuts and some instructions and then we're going to install the app together and control a light. On the bottom we have the indicator light, we have the touch control, you can touch for on and off. You must have a neutral wire when you are wiring this. It must have a load and a neutral. The green is for ground. If you do not have a neutral wire this will not work. Make sure not to reverse the black and the white wire. First step, make sure that you turn off the power to the circuit. Second step, remove the face plate that was on there, and then you are going to remove the two screws that hold the switch into the outlet box. I cannot stress enough to make sure you turn off the power to your circuit breaker. You are dealing with dangerous voltage once the switch is removed. Make sure you remove the two screws that are holding your existing switch in place. I know this is going to be a review, but you need to understand how to connect the switch. It's very easy. In my case, I have a black set of wires, I have a white set of wires, I have a ground wire, which is the bare wire. The black wire is going to be the live wire and that is going to be connected to the black wire on the switch, the new switch. The white wire, which is the neutral wire, is going to be connected to the white wire on the new switch. The ground wire or the bare wire, it might be connected to your junction box, the green wire. That is going to go to the green wire on the new switch. And the last wire is called the load. This is the wire that is going to the ceiling. That is going to be connected to the red wire on the switch. If you reverse these wires, the switch is not going to work. So it's very simple. You just need to make sure that you look at the two original wires on your switch, which one is live and which one is load. Again, live is going to be the wire which has the power at all times. Load is going to be the wire which goes to the light fixture and is switched on and off. If you have a wire going around the screw, you will unscrew the screw to remove the wire. If you have a switch that has the wire inserted into a hole, just take a flat screwdriver, press it in there, and you should be able to remove the wire. If you need to, you can look at the back of the switch. It will label the load, the line, the neutral, the ground. It is also in the instructions that they include. So since I know that this is where the power comes in, this is going to be the line. I'm going to connect the black wire to the black wire with the included wire nut. The way to use a wire nut line the two wires up. You do not want to spin the wires together. Line the two wires up right next to each other and then take the wire nut and put it over the two wires and start screwing it on. Until it is completely on. Make sure that your wires are not coming out from the bottom. So far I've got the black wire going to the black wire, which is the live wire, where all the power is coming in. I've got the red wire going up to the ceiling, the black wire, which is going up to the ceiling to the lamp. My advice to you, 
when these wires come, they have solder on them. My suggestion is cut the wire because you cannot use a soldered wire in a wire nut. Cut the wire, restrip it, and then it will go in the wire nut without a problem. So the remaining connections are the green wire, which is going to go to your junction box or your bare wire, and the white wire, which is going to go to the neutral. Now most of us are going to have a whole bunch of wires inside that are already bundled together. So the only way to make this work is you're going to have to take off this wire nut. Everything's wired up now. I've got the green wire going to the bare wire, and I have a massive amount of wires in this outlet, which most people are not going to have. After you get everything wired up, remove the front cover. It just snaps on, so remove the front cover. You're going to mount this thing inside the outlet. You're going to use the two screws that came with it, or if you want to use your original screws, that should be fine too. Mount the switch inside. I'm going to get the faceplate on, then we're going to test everything out and set up the apps. Switch is mounted. Put on the faceplate. It should snap on. A little bit of pressure, everything will snap on. It looks absolutely beautiful. Very stylish. I'm impressed. It looks really nice. So I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker now and see how everything looks. Here we go. Lights are off, so let's press on this thing. Oh, check that out. Okay, I believe this is the touch to make it uh, go brighter. Oh, look at this. So it's a touch control. I'm going to so the dimmer works. Now, as I said, you can install Alexa or you can install Google or you can install the app that will allow you to control it from your cell phone. I've got the Smart Life app on my cell phone, so I am now doing a scan for the wall switch. And after that, I should be able to set everything up. I don't think I'm going to set up Alexa or Google Assistant if I can do this for my cell phone. Successfully added one device. Dimmer light switch. I just absolutely love this. Look at this. So we've got the dimmer light switch on the cell phone. And I'm going to go down over here. And the, <laughs> the room just got dark. I love it. This thing works. This is my Android, it's a little slow. Let's try this again. We'll go from down and we will... The light just came on in the room. I love this. Okay, so this is an incredible product. I was going to install the Alexa and the Google Assistant, but I don't really need to because mainly I can just do everything here from my cell phone and I could not be happier. So that is the MIUO light dimmer switch. I believe it's MIU. And you can control it from Alexa or Google or from your cell phone with the app. And you can, if you're using the app, you can, uh, like you saw, I was able to slide and set the dimmer. Or if you're using Alexa or Google, you can say dim 30%, dim 50%, and it will do what you want. Or you can go over here and just press whatever button you want to get whatever lighting you want or you press and the light goes off how awesome is this all right that's going to be my review of the uh, switch definitely another five-star product and i could not be happier this is automation in 2018 highly advanced very easy to install and it's a great product i'm thrilled